So right now we're standing at a humanitarian aid site um, where organizations and volunteers have been providing or really stepping in to care for migrants when Border Patrol has failed to do that. Uh, Border Patrol, uh, you know, they directed this group, including a family with a three-year-old, to come to this site. They told them to wait here for them to come back to take them in. Um, what they didn't tell them is that waiting times, and the average waiting time has been five hours, but in the past we have seen 10 hours, three days, right? We just never know how long people will be here. When we heard the announcement by President Biden, um, it was very infuriating. Uh, because for now years, border communities have been um, asking for solutions to the challenges that we're seeing. What we're seeing is migrants uh, arriving to our communities, uh, seeking safety, and a federal government that seems to be unable or unwilling to process them in an orderly fashion, a federal government that is um, able or willing to provide the resources needed to ensure that all human rights are uh, being respected and protected in the southern border. And what this announcement is doing is actually effectively attacking um, asylum, making it uh, almost impossible for people to access that remedy and, and really violating our human rights. And, and that is very concerning because just the idea that our press and things that he has the power to decide how many people get to exercise their human rights should be concerning for everybody in this country, but also for the international um, community, because that is in, in direct violation of international treaties that the United States has signed and agree. And once again, it's in complete violation of human rights.